Welcome to another vlog. We head into New South Wales and the Southern Highlands, catching up with fellow motorhomers. Join Wayne, Ollie and Scott on our adventures and see where Harley takes us this time. Well, good morning guys and welcome to another week another vlog for the RV Travelling Husbands. So this week we've headed up into New South Wales. So we are actually, last night we stayed, we're already on the road and we've stayed here in Gunning, New South Wales, uh, just up from Yass or down from uh, Mittagong. Um, but here's the real reason why, if I just spin around, look at that. As, as it was described to us last night by a bypaster, a whole lot of white mushrooms popped up all of a sudden. So we're here at Gunning doing our first ever WMO or Windsor Motor Home owners um, get together. So look at them all. So we ended up with eight participants and we have six Dane trees. We have some that have had them for a while and this second one on the end they've only had it a week. So we've got a wide, varied range of people here. We have two flinders. We have a high Luton flinder and a low Luton flinder down the end there. But yes, a whole whack of white uh, Windsor models just sitting here. And it's a beautiful crisp morning. This morning. So it's fresh. So here we go with all the Windsors. Just having a look. She's a bit, she's a bit cold. A little bit of a frost on the ground. Everyone's just waking up. The aim of the game is we've got five days of uh, free or charity camping uh, pub calls. So we're basically having, the aim is to have dinner each night in a local pub. Um, and breakfast and morning and lunches are to do as we please and explore the local area. But yeah, just a great time to get together. So I know Wayne's uh, put the coffee on, so I'm gonna leave it here for the minute and I'm gonna go and join him and have a coffee and see if we need to take Ollie out for a walk. And the cockatoos are getting crazy. But anyway, uh, we'll catch you up later. so to speak we're on our way to the second destination we've just left the um, township of Gunning and we're on our way to I'm gonna probably massacre it but we're on our way to Gundaroo only 40k down the road so not a huge drive as you can tell I'm in the passenger seat and as nearly always Wayne is driving hey guys we won't bother him because it's a very twisty road but um, Ollie wasn't coming with us on this trip uh, and hence why we've actually probably gone uh, nearly 48 hours of this trip without vlogging because we had a real crazy 24 hours and long story short Ollie is now with us so Ollie will be appearing in this vlog. So we're heading down some very windy roads so we'll catch up with you shortly. See ya. See ya. I will say New South Wales had some horrible concrete roads. The thrumming and the um, expansion joints on the concrete roads every two seconds. Don't, not a fan. Sorry. Give us a tart road, minus the potholes, any day.
Bali jane. Ya. mightily foggy and it's a little bit cooler than I thought so the tips of my fingers and the tops of my toes because you know I'm in my best finery here you know I've just woken up so <laughs> that's what it's like I'm sure when it's camping well good morning we're on day three and it is a very foggy morning here at Gundaroo we're all still waking up. I think I'm the first up. Wayne has just taken Ollie for a walk for his whizzer. So I just thought while the nature was calling, I'd come out and quickly get a snapshot of what and where we were last night. Now, we went out to the pub last night uh, and that's the whole idea of this thing. So we're all having uh, donation or free camping off the grid um, and going out for a lovely dinner at the pub so last night's pub was about a hundred steps so we're told up the road um, yeah and back here so yeah everyone's just doing their own thing early in the morning but it's just good to see the whole group out and about um, and finally meeting people and and putting you know names to faces etc the the norm that you do when you meet people for the first time I'm sorry there seems to be some sort of tractor in the background I don't know if you can make that out but you know we are in the country but look at this dane tree dane tree dane tree there's a little flinders up there, a high Luton flinders, another dane tree, and then down here we also have a dane tree, another flinders and another dane tree. But I was hoping to capture the spider webs this morning, because yesterday when we were here, uh, when we arrived I should say, um, just spider webs streaming everywhere and actually spider webs across the grass. Oh, I love the way 
<laughs> Good morning. <laughs> So the Windsor convoy has headed down the road. We've left Gundaroo and we've stopped off in this picturesque, beautiful little town of Bungendor. Bungendor, yeah. Bungendor, um, in what they're calling capital country, so on the outskirts of Canberra, the yep. ACT. Um, yeah, the Windsor gang have just enjoyed a nice little coffee little nibble, a nice little croissant, pastry, danish, you name it. And we've just given Ollie a nice long walk around the beautiful streets and finding some beautiful old buildings and some churches. Mm. And Ollie was a lucky boy because he got himself a new oil skin coat. So we couldn't resist getting an original rather than just buying a cheapie from online. But anyway, so we're about to get back on the road because our destination today is the Loaded Dog Hotel in Tarago, not Tarago. We've been corrected several times. Yeah, the locals are very uh, particular about the pronunciation. Yes, so <laughs> <laughs> we have been corrected or part of our group has been corrected. Anyway, hope you'll join us. We're going to get on the road Another and day. it's a beautiful day, cracking day. I think you've seen it. Look at that, clear skies. Yep. The dash says it's currently 18 degrees. There's no wind. What else could you ask for? Yeah. Beautiful autumn colors. We've taken some fantastic photos of the reds, the oranges, the yellows, the greens. So yeah, we're just gonna explore, meander our way slowly to Tarago, and hopefully you'll join us there. Well, good morning. Now that car's just zoomed past. So yesterday, as you saw, we ended up here and we're at Tarago. And we ended up at the Loaded Dog Hotel. Good old Henry Lawson home. But as you can tell, these beautiful trees that I'm standing amongst this morning have been the home for some lovely cockatoos. So since three o'clock this morning, that's all we've heard. Anyhow. So I'm just walking Ollie, so I probably should get back to it, but I just thought I'd show you and tell you. Come on, pub, let's go. So we had a great night at the pub last night. Uh, good chat. It's really good getting to know everyone in the Windsor Motor Home Owners family. Great bunch of people. I recommend it if you actually have a motor home and there's a group that you can join, why not do it? So today is our, or last night was our third night, we're into our fourth day, and we have one more day, one more stay tonight. We have some members leaving today. So yeah, anyhow, so this will probably be the last time we'll be able to see all of the motorhomes in the formation lined up, um, as you saw. We have one, and it's Lopa, this lovely truck that's just turned up. Yeah. <laughs> 
but this is a, a one pub town and a few houses and a petrol station and a cafe and an art centre and a, um, a real estate agent. But this is a very busy intersection. Now the pub has free camping, but his paddock where he does the free camping out the back, he's been quite boggy. So we ended up over here in the overflow car park last night. But look at that fog. Look at those trees. Anyway, I best get back. I best get back to Wayne. See you guys. Well, day four of the WM0001 um, pub crawl, and we're on our second last day or our last night, but it's a free day. So we were just moseying, moseying back up the road and we're heading up to Warrula. Isn't it darling? Sure. And so we've just meandered through Goulburn town itself and got a few essentials and did a few things and uh, we've decided that it's such a nice day we're going to try and head there early and have a early lunch for us because it's only one o'clock just now because it's only 20 more kilometers. Go Jules! <laughs> Hey guys, so the WM0001 pub crawl has come to an end. So we've had a fantastic five days. Everyone's gone their separate ways. We left Maroolan, I don't know, we, we went and had cafe breakfast. We left probably at 10, 30, 11 ish. Yeah. And you know what? We've doubled down, we've come down the freeway and we've come all the way back here to the lovely Bungendor. 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 Yes. Because. We're going to go and look at something. We're going to keep you in suspense, but we're going to go and look at something. It's Ollie's decision in the end. Yeah. Keep posted. We'll talk to you soon. Exciting. Making our way to Gundagai, and there's lots of roadworks. But the weather's turned a little bit nasty. We've gone from a beautiful blue day to an overcast day with lots of rain. Haven't we, honey? Definitely. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're heading to Gundagai, we're having our overnight stop, so because it's a bit wet and miserable, we'll probably see you when we get there. Stay safe. So, we've actually ended up where this all started. 
So we're back at the Pump House Reserve in Gundagai. So come through uh, the township of Gundagai, pretty little township. We'll probably pop in and explore that tomorrow. But at the end of town, just down here near the creek, um, is this fantastic donation uh, camp. You know, there's a little donation box, pop in some gold coins. It's fairly flat. We were a bit hesitant today because we went through all that rain. Um, and we got here and yes, there's a few puddles on the entrance, but for the most part, it's firm and we managed to find a good spot. So the sun is just coming out. You can see over my shoulder now. So it looks like the rain has for the best part of it because they said only five to ten mil and wow, we went through some rain. So I reckon we've had it. So um, maybe it's finding up. So um, I'll just show you. So there's, yeah, I don't know if you can make that out, but there's a bit of a puddles there in the entrance. The sun's just cresting over the hill. A couple of campers that have braved it. But yes, the lovely little river down here. <clears throat> so this beautiful river just beside, so that there is the road back into town. There's a car coming down there now. So yeah, lots of bird life. So that's our, that's our first taster of the Windsor Motorhome Owners um, get together. It was fantastic meeting all the people, the sense um, and the overwhelming thoughts were that it was fantastic and uh, why did we wait this long, etc. But it's one of those things, it does take a while uh, to get these things organised. Uh, John was organising it, even then he, had, he said he was quite nervous the days leading up to it because we hadn't met anyone yet. But now that we have, you know, we're hoping that we'll be able to do many more than Harvey, you know. He handed faultlessly um, and the best thing was is because there were six other dang tree motorhomes there, you know, you could compare notes and options and see what they got, what they've done as, you know, upgrades, what they've done as little tweaks. And it was fantastic. It was just a fantastic, like a community. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow we might head into town so long as it's dry. We're definitely staying overnight this time. Um, I'm not sure if I've alluded to it before. We got here last time on the way up and we had to hightail it back to Melbourne to grab Ollie. He was in care, but he wasn't coping because of the two and a half years of COVID with him, um, you know, being by our side permanently. Even though he was in care, he just wasn't coping. So we hightailed it back to Melbourne for six hours and then we had to have minimal sleep and turn around and make it all the way back again, just so that we could get to the beginning of this trip all over again. But yeah, anyhow, I'm gonna go inside and relax for the rest of the day. Sounds like there's a few cockatoos coming home um, to rest for the evening. And we'll catch up with you tomorrow on the way home. The last leg for this short trip. But we're in May already and you know, winter has definitely set in. It's definitely cooler um, and it's a little bit wetter, as you saw. Anyway, I'll talk to you later, bye. So there was really only the one place open in Gundagai, but we couldn't find a park. So we've just continued to mosey on. So we're hitting the road early, heading back home to Melbourne. We'll see if we find anything along the way. Wow. 
smiles, you smiles, you smiles. Victoria! <laughs> We're back home in our home state. And we still have ooh, three hours and three and one quarter to go. Yep. 333 ironically kilometers to go. So let's see, it's a beautiful day. It's been very light on the traffic. Let's see how it progresses. Just pop the camera on because it's a wee bit smoky. Right, so they're burning the field off. Seen a bit of that along the way. All the road has been charred, all the grass, I should say, and paddocks have been charred. And don't forget to keep watching after the credits for some exciting news that Scott, Wayne and Ollie want to share with you all. So the weather's turned a little bit nasty. It is raining, so this is our decision we made. Hello, little one. Yes, he's wet. He's now a drenched rat. But we finally got Ollie. Hey, bro. Good oh, boy. boy. We finally got Ollie a brother. We've been looking and looking, and we've been application after application, and all been refused. But as we were on our little WMO 001 tour, we came across a pet store, and one of our members lovingly told us that they had puppies. So we've come back, and we haven't got a name just yet. But he's a happy little bugger. Oh, it's poo. Oh. <laughs> okay. Cut. Hi, say hi to the people. Hi. Hi. And don't forget to share this video, click and subscribe, and keep those comments coming. We love to read them. Thanks, guys.